Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Last time we tried greed mode with Azazel and we failed. Um, <laughs> I think I want to try a couple of these challenges, <clears throat> if we can. Uh, and I just, I think I just kind of want to go down the list. So let's start with Pitch Black. Uh, if I remember correctly, this challenge is basically that we have Curse of Darkness all the time. And we also seem to have Curse of the Unknown, where we don't know our health. I'm hoping... I'm hoping that that is just this floor and that that's not for the entire challenge, but we'll see. It may be for the whole challenge. Uh, okay. Let's see. And we're playing, it appears, as Isaac. Uh, Paperclip's actually pretty good for us. Ooh, although the match... Hmm, Paperclip or the match? Paperclip will allow us to open golden chests for free. The match will give us more bombs. I think considering we have five bombs. Actually, you know what I should do? Is I should rock uh, the matchstick for the remainder of this floor. Oh, that was bad. For the rest of this floor, get as many bombs as I can, and then get the paperclip at the end. If I remember correctly, yeah, yeah, yeah. This uh, run only goes to mom's foot. So... Not super bad. Like, it, it's not a very long run. Um, we don't have to get super, super far or anything like that. Rosary beads actually not terrible either, but... There's our item room. Let's clear out those guys. There is a tinted rock right there. Which we will blow up. And look at that, a golden chest. So we'll head back for the paperclip. <laughs> and uh, marked... This is an item that will allow you to aim your tears. Honestly, I don't think it's very good. Uh, I'm not going to take it. it. It basically gives you like a cursor that you have to control, and you will constantly fire your tears in that direction. I don't think it is worth it. Ah, you know what? It's an item. The game is all about items. Let's pick it up. But see, now what I need to do is I need to like kind of control <laughs> where my tears are going, which is not exactly ideal. Um, yeah, uh, we'll see. I'll try to keep it close to me, but like, I don't know. I, I was really hoping for something better in that first item room. This Sometimes this item causes more problems than it... Uh, like, it, it, it's often more trouble than it's worth. Let's put it that way. The other thing, too, is that it does cause you to constantly fire. So if you get, like, uh, Ipecac, uh, some sort of bomb item, any of those types of things, you're going to have some problems. Uh, okay, let's fight our boss. And we got double turdlings who are going to be super... Yeah, I shouldn't have taken marked. <laughs> I should have just left it be. I am not a fan. I'm not a fan. Uh, and I have no idea how much health I have either. Oh boy. Come on. And I also, the, the Curse of Darkness makes it kind of hard to see the cursor and figure out where it is. There we go. We got one down. And the good, the good thing about this is that we can like easily shoot on a diagonal. And keep him from charging at us. There we go. We got a spirit heart out of it. Which I will take. And we got the screw. Which is shot speed up. I think I'm going to go... And I'm going to get the paper clip. I think that's going to be more beneficial for me overall... Than the matchstick. Simply because... I've got five bombs. And... It's going to take me a little while to go through five bombs anyway, and odds are I will be able to find more bombs. Also, if we get, like, a guppy's tail or something, uh, which will give us more chest drops, we will be set. Okay, uh, let's check our arcade. Yeah, so I'm thinking the health thing is persistent. Oh, stay away. I'm thinking the health thing is persistent. So let's put a bomb right here. That was well worth it. Uh, and since I don't know how much health I have, that really makes me afraid to take the blood bank. So we're just going to blow it up. Also going to blow up this guy. And, uh, marked. Come on. 
marked. This is the other problem with marked. It does enough. <laughs> marked is making me shoot my own bombs, partly because I'm apparently terrible at the Binding of Isaac, but uh, okay. So we're going to put a bomb here and we got more bombs and a key. Well worth it. And now we have Wrath. There is a Tinted Rock over here. I'd like Wrath to blow it up for me if I can. Let's keep the cursor a little closer to us so I can aim it more easily. And let's knock it back into... We're, we're backed into a corner. There's no way for me to avoid taking that damage. Oh, man. Yeah, so... Uh, marked. We're, we're not taking Marked. <laughs> Again. If it pops up in the next run... Or not for quite some time. This this has been definitely more of a harm <laughs> than good. It's making it very challenging for me to properly aim my shots the way I want. What's this pill? Tears up. That's actually quite good. Oh, man. I'm trying to... Come on. There goes that one. Marked is making it a little challenging. I think someone told me you can use the mouse cursor. I don't know if that's the case or not. If so, that would make this a million times easier. I don't think that's the case. Uh, uh, well, there's probably a way to do it in the controller settings, but that would make this item much, much better. That's a great pickup. Cricket's head, huge damage upgrade. Uh, this is not where I want to be. Stay away. There we go. And then I think we blow that up. Um, there we go. Get rid of that. Uh, black heart, absolutely. And I think I'm going to take this spirit heart. I'll spend a bomb and get it. We have definitely taken red heart damage on this floor. Uh, troll bomb, run away. There we go. And yeah, red heart damage for sure. So it looks like our shop is, or our secret room is probably directly above us if I had to venture a guess. So let's try putting a bomb right there. That is definitely our secret room. And we got spiders. I'm just gonna leave and go back in. And more spiders. Okay. So, apparently we do have item rooms on this challenge, but no shops. So that's good to know. A lot of the challenges don't have item rooms uh, at all. Most of them have shops, but some of them don't have shops. Some of them don't have item rooms. Some of them, there's, some of the challenges are very, very difficult. Um, especially for someone like myself, who's not super amazing at the Binding of Isaac. Ah, uh, stay away from that. There we go. Okay, we're good. We did get a deal with the devil. Lucky break there, considering we didn't have uh, a... We had a, like a 36% chance to actually get one. But that's good, and I know I do have some spirit hearts uh, and stuff as well. Uh, Book of Belial, I think, is well worth it. Guppy's Paw? Hmm. I think you kind of got to do both. Like, we take Book of Belial for sure. Especially since it will give me a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're taking... We'll, we'll pick up Guppy's Paw just to give us that Guppy item. And then we'll head down to the next floor. That's what we're going to do. Uh, because Book of Belial also gives you a, a greater chance to actually get deals with the devil. So it'll help us potentially become Guppy. And if we become Guppy on this run, we will win. It's that simple. Um, there we go. I think my best bet is to try and kind of fire, like, just put my cursor somewhere and there we go. Okay. Next floor, we've got one of these. Move out of the way of that. What's this pill? Amnesia. amnesia. Uh, I thought amnesia made you forget the map, but I can still see the map. So, I don't know what the deal is there. Okay, I'm not complaining, though. I mean, sure, why not? Um, yeah, we have to check. 
Blood Bag is huge. That's an HP up and a speed up. And most importantly, an HP up. Which is what I need. Come on. Pop up. Ah, oh, these enemies. Alright, there goes that one. And that one. This shouldn't be too bad since I can fire the diagonal. Alright, I think we're good. And they're dead. And we got a battery for it. I should have used Book of Belial in there, by the way. Didn't even think of it, but hey, whatever. And we're not in a hurry. We're, I don't want to rush this. Like, I, there's no reason that we should be, uh, you know, skipping rooms and stuff like that. Let's put a bomb right here. So I can get to this. And that gave us a bomb back and a tower card, which isn't super useful. Bomberman is pretty good. That'll give us five more bombs. And we'll make our bombs have a, uh, basically like a plus sign radius. Just like from the game Bomberman. All right, so we're gonna pop Book of Belial here for sure. Uh, I do wanna clear out these nubs. Is this... I don't know, I think this might be the Gertie that just spawns enemies. And if that's the case, this should be a pretty easy fight. Yeah, this is the one that just spawns enemies, so not bad. And we can stay far, far away over here as well. We'll take the Eternal Heart. We'll take the range upgrade, even though it's kind of garbage. And we'll head down. And I still have no idea what my HP is, but between the Blood Bag and the Eternal Heart that we just picked up, we know we have at least two Red Hearts. Uh, and then presumably some Soul Hearts as well. So let's do this. Now... We're going to do one of those. We'll play each... Uh, let's do it a couple more times. The money doesn't really do us a whole lot of good, considering there are no shops. Uh, that's enough. Uh, I'll leave it at that. I was hoping one of them would pay out, but it didn't. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to try and force it. These are the most annoying enemies ever with Marked. Because I need to either, like, stand still... Ugh. That was terrible. And that may be... No, I still have a pretty good deal with the Devil Chance, so we haven't taken Red Heart damage yet. This room shouldn't be horribly bad if I can just kind of keep these guys away from me. Okay. And there's that one, too. Okay. We'll pick up the red heart. I don't think... Uh, eh, we should check our boss trap room. Oh, actually, I can't even get in there because I have more than one red heart. Okay, just kidding. Let's try this way. Okay, that room wasn't too bad. Uh, this is a big room, so I am going to use the Book of Belial. Especially since these enemies are just annoying in general. There we go. Oh, and that found our secret room for us. Why, thank you. And that'll give us full health. There we go. I'm sure there are more... There's one. I think this is the last guy. Yep. And we did find our item room as well. So let's check that. Big fan. It's a big, giant, fat orbital. Actually, relative... Oop. Actually, relatively useful. Helps block attacks and stuff like that. There we go. Uh, let's go this way. Want to take out that first, if I can. There we go. Come on. Big fan. Thank you. And I don't think these guys will actually, like, pop up if the tears are... There we go. Okay. Uh, we've been to our item room on this floor, so I don't think there's any reason we need to, like, hang around. I think we can just go fight our boss. I, we don't have any spirit hearts as far... Well, I don't know. I, I have no idea how much health we have. Which is annoying in and of itself, but... You know, what can you do? Not a lot. There, 
I just gotta deal with it, you know? And then I just need to kind of keep my crosshair shooting at him. And the use, the, the ability to fire at a diagonal is actually very useful at Chubb because he can't charge <laughs> at a diagonal. There we go. We got it. We got an HP up as well, which is also good. And in our deal with the devil, we have multi-dimensional baby. Ugh, yuck. Uh, not going to be a great item for us here. Not at all. Not worth not worth a heart, for sure. I think, honestly, I think we can get to Mom's heart, uh, or Mom's foot, and kill Mom's foot, just based on what we've got, as long as our HP holds up. Uh, I think if we can keep our, H, uh, our HP up, I think we'll, we'll pretty much be set. Oh, hey, hi, hi, little guys. This is a room that I actually wouldn't mind having Book of Belial for, if I'm being honest. Okay, there goes those. And then we've got all of these guys, which, with marked, are going to be very annoying to deal with. Ah, spikes. Didn't even see it. My brain cannot handle all the stuff that I need to be thinking about right now, between aiming my tears with marked and dodging enemies and avoiding spikes and all that kind of stuff. We're taking way more damage on this floor than I should be. You know what? Maybe we can get Big Fan to do some work for us. There we go. Thank you, Big Fan. That's probably a better option on that particular floor. There we go. Get rid of that and that. Beautiful. And here we have the Book of Revelations, which is actually great for us. That was not so great. But we will take this, we will use this, and I think we will stick with this. That's going to give us a soul heart every so many rooms. Every six rooms, basically. We're going to get a spirit heart. So that'll help us stay alive. And honestly, our damage, well, not amazing, is also not horrendous. We have a pretty good rate of fire. We're at six damage. We are capable of beating Mom with this setup as long as we have the health. And I think... Book of Revelations will help us make sure that we do. So I think it's worth it to stick with this. Uh, let's break these as well, just in case. Sometimes they drop spirit hearts on very rare occasions, so make sure we're doing our due diligence. We're not going to be going for boss rush because the... I don't even want to talk about that. That was so bad. Let's, let's never discuss that again. I also have a ton of bombs, so I should really be blowing... Uh, I should really be blowing these up. Oh, I forgot I had the Bomberman! Oh, this is just a, a series of bad plays. <laughs> over and over and over again. Uh, speed down. Man, come on. Work with me here. I'm just gonna stand, like, right here and let these guys kind of sort themselves out. There we go. And this guy should... Basically just die on his own. 48 hour energy. No. Range up. Still something. Still useful. Uh, and actually... I think... We're gonna do this as well. I've got tons of bombs, so we might as well. And in here... The leech. The leech is... Ooh, do I wanna go with the leech? The leech will heal me and is a damaging familiar, but I think we can do better. Spectral Tears actually could be very useful with Marked. But again, I think we can do better. Uh, we can definitely be do better than Cracked Mirror. That's a trash item. Also a trash item. Also a trash item. Come on. Uh, I should have probably stuck with, uh, with Ouija Board for the Spectral Tears. Oh well. Too late now. Too late now. This will help us generate some spiders and stuff, though, so... Uh, you'll notice that some of these tiers have, like, an egg sack-looking effect thing, and basically that's just representing that they will... Oh, that was a waste of a key. That's alright, I only need one more key anyway. Um, that's essentially just representing that when they hit, if they hit an enemy, they'll turn into a spider. I think it's just an enemy, right? Yeah, they have to hit an enemy in order for that to happen, but... 
still. And then we'll use Book of Revelations. Uh, I would like to find our secret rooms. It's not there. It is potentially over. Ah, hmm. Let's just try right there. And if it's not there, it was right there. And the golden poop, which is essentially irrelevant considering we don't have shops on this challenge. Um, I am going to blow these guys up for an extra deal with the devil chance. Not a great one, but a little bit. We only have a 15% chance, and that's if we don't get any red heart damage on the run. But hey, you know what? It might be worth it. If it pays off, I'll say it was a good idea. Uh, okay, war. Kind of an annoying boss, but not too bad. Ah, except for that attack. I really dislike that attack. Stop summoning troll bombs. I would really appreciate it. All right, there we go. Let's just put our attack on him directly. There we go. And let's make sure that we have adequate space to run away. There we go. A little bit of damage. And then he's just going to charge at us. And this is the easy part of the war fight. There. Dead. Cube of meat. Did we take any red heart damage on this floor? It appears we did. Okay, well, let's head on down to the final floor. Not bad. We're at like uh, we're at like 18 minutes on the run, which isn't terrible. And if we beat it with marked, you know, I'm I'm happy with that. Um, man, trying to avoid so many things at once. There we go. Got it. Whew. That was close. We do have another item room here as well. Uh, I'm going to save my key for that. I'm not going to waste my my key on that tarot card. That's just a waste at this point. we got to be smarter with our resources. Maybe if I have another key, maybe we'll check it. Because the tower isn't, you know, exceptional or anything like that. But there we go. Ah, look at that. On cue. What are you? You are the magician. Not great but probably better than the uh, the tower, if I'm being honest. There we go. And this is going to be an annoying... Well, maybe not. We'll be okay. There we go. And in our sack, we got the Emperor card. I think that is worth it. That will teleport us directly to the boss. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking... Oh, there's our boss anyway. We found it. But I'm thinking we head off and find our item room. I mean, at this point, the Emperor card, since we've found our, our, our boss fight, the Emperor card is really not all that relevant anymore. And actually, we should check, because this could be our secret room over here. We should also use our uh, Book of Revelation, get that extra spirit heart. Nothing. That's not our secret room. Uh, you could also be our secret room. That's our secret room. There we go. And that's awesome. That's excellent. Okay. Very, very good for us. Three black hearts. So I think we take the magician. I do want to find my item room before we fight mom's foot. Although I think we could probably beat mom's foot with what we've got right now. Hard to say, but big fan alone could, uh, could probably do it. Uh, well, and we also have Cube of Meat as well, which is also a damage dealer if you're being, you know, if you're using it offensively, if you use your orbitals offensively, and a Spirit Heart as well. Oh, man. We're starting to kind of get enough health here where I'm I'm not really worried, even if we don't far find our uh, our item room. I still would like to find our item room, though, just to see, you know, kind of what it is. See, who knows? Maybe we'll pick up, like, Tech X or something. Maybe we'll pick up some item we haven't seen yet. There's a lot of items in this game. There we go. Plus, we're only one charge away from a Book of Revelations. Or, uh, or one room away from a Book of Revelations. Uh, yeah, we'll just blow this up. I'm not playing the Blood Bank right before the mom fight. Uh, that was... Oh, can I pick up... I can. Okay, so I actually had more red heart damage than I thought I did. A couple of these guys. Shut up, shut up. 
And one more. Come on. Pop up. Ah, that was not where I wanted to be. There we go. Got him. Book of Revelations. We uh, Our item room has to be around here somewhere. One key for that many bombs. I don't think so. This feels like a secret room to me. It's not. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. It was worth checking. There's our item room in what is potentially one of the most annoying rooms ever. Our spiders are going to do some work for us here, I think. Now, I wonder... Ah, oh, the spider actually bounces off the front as well, so the spider has to hit them from behind, too. There we go. That should do it. Come on. Hit him. And our item room has... Sad Onion. Or Dead Onion. You know what? We're going to take it. This is not necessarily a great item. Um, <laughs> but it does give us Spectral, which means during the mom fight, our tears will pierce. It, it gives us piercing shots, essentially. So I think this is worth it. Maybe? This could also be our secret room. That is our secret room. Our tears don't actually do more damage as a result of this, but... Empress, that is certainly better than the Magician. That's what we'll take into the mom fight. That'll give us a damage upgrade during the mom fight. I think we're as ready as we're going to be. Let's pop the Empress card. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're doing some damage. Good, good, good. And we can just kind of focus mostly on dodging. There we go. Uh, not good. Nope. Just put it on the eye. You're dead. You're dead. And... You... Oh, oh, get the foot. We're, we're so close. There we go. That's actually it. That's the, that's the game. <laughs> we win. Let's check and see what was in our deal with the devil. Gimpy. Okay. At least it wasn't like Brimstone or Mom's Knife or something. But there we go. We have unlocked the Hagalaz Rune. Guys, that is going to do it for this episode. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description down below. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.